from Oracle Park in San Francisco. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and towing the slab, Logan Webb. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. And the swing and a miss. Now one away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So great the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. Luis Robert now. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. So many times a sinker inside is a foul ball off the ankle for the batter. But at that time, he did a really nice job of staying inside the pitch and getting through. One out, base is empty. Here's the veteran outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. Pitch ball, misses no. inside, two and one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count's two, two. even at two. Ball. And that one almost hit him. Full count. Righty delivers. Bounced out to short. Fitzgerald. And Benintendi out. is out. That, that Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. And something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a hitter to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, players get fired up in the dugout, and they want to oh, do dude. the same thing. And before you know it, you start to get base runners on, and you get a big hit, and all of a sudden, you ride that way for a few days and go on a winning streak. That's something they definitely could use. Oh. That one misses, and now three and one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one finds its way through. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Two outs, runner at first. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Oh, great stop. On the money. Nice play. The White Sox with the homer to get things going. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Oracle Park, and today's starting pitcher, Tuki Tucson. 
Oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Back to the mound. He's got it. On to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Elliot Ramos. Boog, this is one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. I mean, he's such a consistent hitter. You've got to love watching him in those situations. And hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in this one. Here's Mark Canna. Righty to the plate. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that. that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's Elliot Ramos. And there's a foul ball. The pitch and ball four ball to four. aboard. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the good. game. We've seen him give up walks in the pass, and it's an issue once again Not early bad. on. First and second, one out, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Chapman. Hit, connect on the curveball, struck him out. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two that's strikes, good. sort of pitch you're no looking for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. So first and second with two outs. Now the left fielder is a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Canna, the lead runner out at second. Ramos on at first with two down. On its way to the corner. And that lands in no man's land a foul ball. Two on, two outs. Towards first, and it's just foul. That was close. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. Sends it over to Sheets. That ends the frame. Giants leave a couple, and it remains 1-0. Back here in San Francisco, top of the second, here's Corey Lee. Corey Lee. Just missed. That one misses. And a count is three and one. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. That one oh, misses. Four. So a leadoff walk. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Now it's going to be Miguel Vargas. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Fly ball to right. Yastrzemski makes the play, and there's one down. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Man at first, one away. Check on the runner, and he's back safely.
Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Back to right. Yastrzemski should have this one. Squeezes it. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Brooks Baldwin yeah, yeah. steps to the plate the for the White Sox. Brooks Brook. Baldwin. Baldwin. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. So one left for the White Sox, but they're on top, one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Kicks and deals. Smoked on the ground a second. Now the throw to first on the run. And they get the out. That is seven. The second baseman. Casey. Casey Schmidt, the next giant to hit. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Here's Kurt Casale. Next offering is in for a strike. Two out spaces empty. Pitch in the dirt. The count now two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. The line to the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Giants go in order. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. They trail here, one nothing. Top half of the Leading third on, inning. Mike Stepping Sox. in, the White Sox leadoff man, Nikki, Nikki Lopez. Lopez. The pitch. Line drive. Takes it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And now it's Luis Robert. Inside corner for a strike and two out to ball. a two. two On the ground to the That's left foul. and it goes just foul. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Oh, Swing and a miss struck him out. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still wait on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. But why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss struck him out. Down in order go the White Sox. They lead it 1 0.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Grant McCray. And a 1-1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. In time. And the drop third strike leads to the first out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The batter will be the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. Ball. That misses. Now two balls and a two strike. Ball. One strike. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. Three and ball. a swing and a miss. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Bounced up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Not in time. He's safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. One down. Mark Canna will hit next. And he deals. Two, one. And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. And a pitch. And a foul ball left side. Two two now. Look out. This one in the dirt. Low throw and he can't take it out. And now a man into scoring position. Well, that's part of the risk when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt. Even as good as catchers are these days at blocking pitches, that one just got away enough, and that takes the double play opportunity away for now. And it's second. Good ball plate ball. appearance take there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now. now on the mound. Yeah, but, 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 his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Fitzgerald over at second. Canna at first. One gone. In the air right field. Pretty well struck. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags at second, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go, but now, now, now he can score in other different ways. Doesn't have to be a base hit. We'll see what happens. Slap the other way, foul. Way outside, it's two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Got him swinging. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
back here at Oracle Park like as we go to the, the top of the fourth. Right. Here's the White Sox Andrew. DH, Andrew Vaughn. Vaughn. The wind of the pitch. Ball. And another ball. You know, Two these ball. White Sox do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. That's and that's outside. Three and one. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Uh -huh. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Two outs, base is empty. Corey Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. The 1 1 is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And down on strikes he goes. And the White Sox go quietly. 1 2 3 go the White Sox. But they still lead it 1 0. Ready to go. And digging in for San Francisco. Number 64. That just misses. And a count to a one. All these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Lopez tosses the first. Number one down. Good arm side run at that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. This one chopped up the middle. Baldwin fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home floor. The batter, number 10, second baseman. Casey Schmidt, the next giant to hit. Schmidt. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two strikes. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Now at the plate, Kurt Casali. At the belt and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. And Benintendi able to make the grab. One left for San Francisco. They're down 1 0. All set for the Leading start of the inning. Right Here's the third baseman, the third baseman. Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas. Oh. Late that time, it's strike two. What Fights that one away, still one and two. And the righty deals. Bounce to the right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Out. One away here in the fifth.
Dominic Fletcher getting ready to hit. One out, base is empty. That one way inside. Inside quarter for a strike. Two and two. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to first, Canna. Two up, two down. Ow. Now back, the second, the second base, base. Brooks. Brooks. Ball Baldwin. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for Chicago, Brooks Baldwin. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. One ball. Man, Two that strikes. was pretty gross right there. Ah, and a please. swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they lead it one to nothing. And we're back. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Grant McCray. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Now one away. Now that's a tough play for the infielder. Ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Ball to strike. Good no, eye right the there. Action in the pen down there. Jonathan Cannon up and loosening in the pen. Crochet, a left-hander, also throwing. The White Sox up by a run. Last half of inning number five. Laced in the left. That's a base hit. Everything came together for him. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands in and turned on the pitch. Yeah. Back through the zone. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Man at first with one gone. And here is Mark Cannon. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Great. Oh, save! His wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. That's the third. Throws the first in time. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Yeah. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this now one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. The left-hander on now, Garrett Crochet. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. First and second, two outs. And up next for San Francisco, Matt Chapman. The two one. And fouled off. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Brings it in. And that will end the inning. Giants leave a couple. They still trail 1 0. Back 
here in San Francisco. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And strike two. <laughs> on the ground right side. And on to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Good sinker low in the zone right there the and produced exactly Luis. what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And next to hit for the Sox, Luis Robert. His homer earlier is responsible for the only runs they've scored in this one. Yeah, forget small ball. They're kind of living and dying by the long ball so far in this one. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Outside ball low, ball three. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Jordan Hicks preparing to come on if needed. Birdsaw getting loose as well. And a pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. The 1 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. 2 2. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Robert, the base runner at first with one out. Webb throws over. In Robert there, dives safe. back in. There goes the runner. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Here's the pitch. Runner goes oh. again. Ball misses. And oh, safe. It's a stolen base. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homered earlier. Now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Logan Webb won't go any further. Good effort out of him, even though he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm on the... After a quick break, Jordan Hicks into the game. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. So one out with two aboard. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. Two on, one out. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in the spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, bird. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate and his club. And up next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. Breaking oh, ball in there for a strike. <laughs> and a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Mm -hmm. 
kicks and fires. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. First and second. Two down. Whoa. Next offering misses down and away. Frozen for strike three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. Here's the left fielder, number 64. And another ball. Ah. Swing and a miss. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it over to Sheets. Out. One away, bottom of the sixth. Up next, man, John. The white field. Mike Yastrzemski, the next giant to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. One ball. The White Sox leading by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Wind of the pitch. And now the count is even. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Lee down to first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Rookie just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Ball. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. That two misses, balls, now strike. three and one. Kurt Casali in the on deck circle. And now the lefty. There's a strike at the knees. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Snags it on the run. And that is that. So they go quietly there. We're through six full. It's the White Sox one and the Giants nothing. Top of inning number seven. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Corey Lee. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, that's that slope right there. Do it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Got it by him for the pay. Well, he just had no answer for that hard inside fastball right there. Just blew it now by him. And not every pitcher likes working inside, especially with two strikes. They don't want to hit a batter and waste an opportunity to put him away. But if you can locate that fastball just like he did, most hitters aren't looking for it. And it becomes very difficult to get a piece of. Now the third baseman, Miguel Vargas. And here it comes. Here's a tapper towards short. 
gathers and throws to first. And that quickly, two away. And he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost like he didn't get pitch recognition and tried to slow his bat down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play, have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. On the ground, right side, Schmidt sends it to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Jonathan Cannon will take over here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and now protect a tight lead the late in the ball game. Number Some of them are just wired Jonathan. different, so we'll see yeah, what he's yeah. got here. Well, one run game, and here's the catcher, Kurt Casale. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. This one in the air. Baldwin moving under it. And out number one on the grab. Good hard fastball up in the zone right the there. Bat. They look really the good seven, coming seven. in, but so Grant. hard to get on top of as a hitter. Grant. So digging in, Grant McCray. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. Tyler Fitzgerald. Chase that time. Mark Chan on deck for San Francisco. to right in position and that is the inning welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth Taylor Rogers now and he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Brooks Baldwin steps to the plate for the White Sox. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Number 76 getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Birdsaw also throwing. The pitch. He goes down looking. Got a tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. So the batting order turns over. And the batter now, Nicky Lopez. One down, base is empty. And now one and two. One, two. Pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And now two and one. a base hit and with the inning still alive here comes the heart of the order 
Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Backdoor breaking ball, and he did go the other way with it like you might think, but he put a good swing on it, squared it up nicely. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Robert dives back in. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Out towards left center. Sizes this one up. Makes the catch in and over. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jared Schuster. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing the work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. And now here is Mark Canna. The first base Mark Canna. And another ball. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Matt Foster, the closer of the staff, is throwing. The lefty fires. And okay. that's too high. Elliot Ramos waits to bat for the Giants. Bounce to third. Fires across the diamond, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That's why you have the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. So now the DH spot, Elliot Ramos. And that skips into there. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. But the Comes a 2-2. Out to short. Lopez tosses Out. the first. And that quickly, two away. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over and got the ground ball. Now it's Matt Chapman. But why to kick the pitch? Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that is that. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Hayden Birdsong. Well, he's had trouble at times keeping the ball in the park this season. Something to keep in mind here. Andrew Vaughn now. The designated hitter, Andrew Vaughn. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air, sizing this one up. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now back. The, the first base. base. Gavin. Gavin. So up next for Sheets. Chicago, Gavin Sheets. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Ball. Outside. And the count is three and one. And that drops in for a strike. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. Now bad. Catch it. Corey. So, man aboard, Corey Lee now at the plate. One run game here at the top of the ninth. 
And that one clips the corner. Man, I one mean, ball. nice Two job shot. just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Ball that two. one just misses. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Ball and three. another ball. At this point in the game, ball you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The punch out there. Now two out. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. Yeah. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Ball, just ball. miss. It's a good take. Two, two. And no. that one a little bit high. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And they'll do it again. Three and two now. Now he breaks his bat. And that's the third out. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the White Sox one and the Giants nothing. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Matt Foster, a chance at his first save of the year. Matt Foster. Now the left fielder. Go. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat. Ultimately, however he can, get to first base. One run game, bottom nine. Good eye in that spot. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Mike Yastrzemski waits on deck. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got him! And that's the first out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a lot, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Righty delivers. In the air on the infield. Sheets gets under it. Makes the grab two away. No batter. Number 10. Second baseman. Now Bob Melvin going with a pinch hitter. Lamont Wade Jr. A critical at bat in this game for him. A one run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay go, 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 mentally go, go, go. and physically ready for the big opportunity go, go, go. and he came through for his club right there.
So now a pinch hitter, Patrick Bailey. Well, the goal with the lefty bat here, Boo, trying to improve that matchup. Very, very important at bat in this game. So a change being made at first base, and here's the pinch runner, Brett Wisely. Right-hander kicks, deals, and that one fouled off. One strike away. Ball. That misses the zone, and the count is two, two and two. Two strikes. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox strand the tying run on base to win it. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. one nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.